I, I can help you find a toilet that works. Are, are you going to pay for it? Everything costs more to go back and retrofit the toilets that don't work, that no bureaucrat understood or flushed before they made us use them, costs money. Senator Rand Paul sparked fireworks last week when he railed against the Obama administration for forcing Americans to buy energy-efficient household items that aren't efficient at all because they usually don't work. Call it regulation nation as nothing. Nothing is too trivial to escape government regulation. Joining us now is Jeffrey Tucker of the Mises Institute. He's written a book with the very seductive title of Bourbon for Breakfast, Living Outside the Statist Quo, that teaches ordinary citizens how they can beat the nanny staters who want to regulate your showering and your eating and your light bulb habits. Jeff, welcome to Freedom Watch. It's a pleasure uh, to have you here. I, well, I guess you were here. sort of happy uh, with Senator uh, Paul's rant last week uh, against a bureaucrat because it pointed out the wisdom of the many, many jewels and gems that are in your book about the crazy things that the government tries to force us to do in the privacy of our own homes and how we can legally get around them. <laughs> That's right. Well, all I can say is up with Senator Paul. That was fantastic. But of course, he just scratched the surface. He touched on the toilet issue. And he did hammer the, the critical issue. You know, to, to buy new toilets is, is actually an exp expensive thing to do. And you know, I tell you what, if you try to fix up the toilets in your home and get new ones, you can be paying not only a lot of money, you're likely to get one that doesn't work that well. And even if they flush well, they don't clean well. You know what's going on in San Francisco right now? Right. All these right. Uh, water conference conservation measures are leading to a, just a massive stink, citywide stink fest, you know, so that the, the place smells like heck and, you know, they're Try, going to try to solve it with bleach. I mean, this is a disaster. All right. So I, Senator Paul just touched and scratched the surface. There are many, many, many other household issues that are affected that by these he has scratched, things. The surface that, that he has scratched is a federal government that believes it can right any wrong, regulate any behavior, tax any event, no matter how intimate, yeah. no matter how private it may be. I mean, okay. Senator Paul started out by asking this poor, hapless bureaucrat, I don't even remember who it was, if she believed in choice. She thought he was talking about a woman's decision to choose to have an abortion. He, of course, was talking about yeah. private choice within the House. Right. How did we get right. there? How did we get to the position where the almighty federal government tells us how large the toilets are, how strong the water pressure is in the shower, what type of yeah. light bulbs we can use, even the number of legs on a, on a, on a kitchen chair is regulated by right. the feds? Well, you know, anything to make our lives more miserable. You know, it, it, it took thousands of years for capitalism and the free market to build civilization and, you know, a few decades for the government to slowly unravel it through these ridiculous regulations. So now your showers aren't hot, they're not strong. You know, you have to hack your shower head to get a decent shower these days. You have to hack your water heater to get the water hot enough so we're not, we're not getting clean. You know, our sewage is not working anymore. Our, our dishwashers break more quickly because of all this energy regulation compliance right. and same thing with our clothes. Clothes washers. I mean, you can just go through the list. Everything in our house is being controlled by the federal government. It and started a little bit at a time in the early 70s. But, uh, you know, now all of our products are getting worse. It's, uh, it's a calamity. And I mean it literally when I say unraveling civilization. I mean, what is civilization? It's, it's about, you know, keeping things clean, about, about efficiency. It's about convenience in home, about having pr products in our household that liberate us to do other things, uh, we... having products that work. L lest anybody think you're advising people to break the law, you're not. Because once you own the shower head and once you own the water yeah. heater and once you own the toilet, you can do whatever you want with it. These regulations yeah. regulate the manufacture and transportation of the items, not what you can do with them uh, in your home. Can we ever expect all, in this country, true. in the 21st century, after all we've been through since the FDR of World War II years, to have government that works and still preserves our freedoms? Oh, I, I don't think so. I mean, that's a big question, and I, I think the answer to that is no. But let, let me say something about, uh, you know, about this problem in our houses. Most of the consumers who are dealing with these products, they blame the companies that make the products. And it's a reasonable assumption. Hey, who sold me this rotten dishwasher? They don't understand that there's a hidden hand uh, ruining th your, your life. At, the hidden at hand home, of government. hidden hand is government rig. Yeah. So that's really what I wanted to do in the book was draw attention to, uh, to, the, to the secret uh, source of, of all Got these it. Jeff, miseries, it's a great you know? book, and you can't forget the title, Bre A Bourbon for Breakfast by Jeffrey Tucker. Right. Jeff, thank you very yeah. much for joining us. Up next.